It is now a year and some four months since Uganda started battling COVID-19 pandemic. During this campaign, Uganda Industrial Research Institute has been contributing through manufacturing of sanitizers and face masks. With the pandemic spreading through the globe, we also thought we could, you know, foster our efforts have more efforts um, and contribute to what the nation is already doing, what other stakeholders are doing. And um, steps were taken to actually have some of these products certified by the Uganda National Bureau of Standards. Arishaba Pasi, chemist at the Institute, says that due to the public demand, they decided to manufacture non-alcoholic sanitizers in order to suit all without compromising quality. Um, now this is alcohol free as there is no alcohol in it, there is no ethanol, it's not an ethanol based product, it's based on benzalkonium chloride, it's one of those products we thought would be very user friendly for the communities that are not very comfortable with the best A team of chemists is engaged in manufacturing customized safe masks at a large scale. The National Bureau of Standards, they have a laboratory recognition scheme. So they um, check certain laboratories and ensure that they meet their requirements. And if you meet all their requirements, you are given a certificate of recognition. That means that Somebody testing here in our lab might not have to go back to test again in uh, UNBS under that lab recognition scheme. So in addition to testing our in-house products, we also test products for the public. So if you bring a sample here and it's tested, our certificate can be used to get certification in UNBS, in addition to all the other requirements of UNBS. This being an industrial research institute, People interested in textile sciences would analyze different products they design or they are doing research on, and this would help to improve still on the utilization of our resources. The executive director of Uganda Industrial Research Institute, Professor Charles Kweska, recommends the work of his staff, especially the manufacture of products aimed at helping Ugandans against coronavirus. We decided as jury, we decided to find uh, uh, an affordable uh, stopgap measure we could, we could uh, handle. And so uh, we set up a team of uh, uh, textile engineers, technologists, and um, uh, microbiology, uh, my, microbiologists, and they came with a three-layer uh, three project, uh, three-layer mask. Kweska also recommends that he's worried of the market of the products because his staff are working hard to produce sunrise, but the market is not adequate. I expected the market to be, uh, the demand to be a lot higher, but uh, as everybody is beginning to realize, uh, our uh, people have tended to, to, to really not take the pandemic as seriously as, uh, as we should. And so I don't see a lot of uh, sanit sanitizer use where it should be. Uh, but I'm sure we're going to wake up the reality that we need uh, such uh, products. Mask makers applaud Uganda Industrial Research Institute for the good cooperation and employing them during this lockdown. So we are working in lockdown and they, they are paying us well. Uh, we have a daily target of 100 per day and we are expected to make 600 after a week. Those are 60 days. Uh, so far we have no challenges. Everything is in place, in time, so I can't say that we have any challenges by now. Kenneth Tanaba, UBC News.